Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ferrari Sydney. Welcome to the Atelier. Um, today I'll be configuring uh, the FA Tributor of my dreams. I'll be running you through the uh, exterior and interior, some of the options available. So uh, sit back and enjoy. First things first, the exterior color in Grigio Titanio Metallizzato. Uh, I love this color. It's, uh, it's not your typical gray. It's got a tinge of blue in it, a uh, fleck of blue in it, which sort of really showcases the, the angles of the car and sort of glistens under the sun. So it's a, it's a really nice color to have on the FA Tributo. Um, I've complemented this color with a Nero DS two-tone body painting roof. Um, I feel like this is a must have option on the on the outside of the car just because it accentuates the silhouette um, of the F8 Tributo. It's, it skinnies it from, from a side profile, which is, as you can see, is, is pretty important. And uh, yeah, it complements the, the car really well. The all important Ferrari shields um, on the front side fenders of, of the car. And we will go ahead and match this with the yellow brake calipers. I refer to this as the trident of, of yellow. Um, you can't really go, go wrong with, with yellow calipers. You know, you've got the yellow badges, the yellow wheel caps, and now the, uh, the yellow brake calipers. Um, rims, carbon fiber wheels. Um, these wheels were originally available uh, exclusively for the Pista. They've now made them available for the FA Tributo, so why not? They, uh, they look very, very nice. And then you will see with the, uh, how they match and complement the rest of the, the carbon fiber on the exterior of the car. With the carbon fiber wheels, um, you will get a set of titanium uh, wheel bolts. Again, uh, sort of complementing the, the lightweight feature of the carbon fiber wheels, which is, which is pretty important. The exhaust, I've decided to select a black ceramic sports exhaust pipe. It sort of fades away within the diffuser, but again, it keeps that aggressive um, yet sophisticated look that we're going for with, uh, with this particular car. And I shall now start selecting some of the carbon fiber features, which uh, really give off that uh, that contrast with the with the titanium with the titanium gray um, color of the car so first things first the carbon fiber front spoiler with the front air vent um, the underdoor cover which is quite difficult to see but it is sitting below the door and the carbon fiber side air splitter which is quite a prominent uh, option and pretty visible, especially when you're when you're entering and, and exiting the car. It's something that catches catches your eye. Um, on the rear of the car, I've decided to include the rear diffuser. The reason why I've selected carbon pieces on the front side and rear is because you want to have that 360 reference to the carbon fiber. You don't want to concentrate the carbon fiber in one particular area. So the reason uh, I did that is precisely because if you were to take a 360 walk around the car, you would have that reference of, of carbon around the car. So in this particular case, the front's been ticked off in terms of carbon with the, with the bumper insert and the, uh, the splitter section at the bottom. And then uh, this motif, continues continues around the car as you can see and then again it still accentuates that beautiful silhouette that the FA Tributo has um, by complementing the gloss black roof uh, as well. If we turn our attention to the engine bay um, again I've utilized quite a considerable amount of carbon fiber. Uh, the engine covers uh, have now transformed into, into basically into carbon fiber including the manifold as an additional piece. So really giving that uh, sort of stealth um, look in the engine bay and why not? I mean, you can see the engine bay, it's got this beautiful Lexan glass. So you might as well uh, show off and continue again that motif of, of carbon fiber that you've uh, 
um, ticked off on the uh, on the exterior of the car. The paint in a different uh, in a different light, uh, and obviously with this particular metallic paint that I've gone for, um, titanium grey. Again, really accentuating those uh, those lines and, and and the way the light uh, the light hits those uh, those angles on this car. So very important. Now that we've finished with the exterior of the car, we can go ahead and concentrate on the inside. The first thing that I've done is replace the full electric seats with the carbon fiber racing seats. Again, tying in with that um, sporty motif that is associated with the FA Tributo. Um, I have done a combination of leather and Alcantara for the interior and also a combination of colors. Um, the seats being in full Alcantara in a mix of Bordeaux and Nero. So you will see Bordeaux on the exterior section of the seat and Nero on the inner trim of the seat. And it's complemented with this Italian uh, tricolor uh, special sort of equipment um, that features on the, on the inner section of the seat. In addition to this color combination, I've also chosen a black stitch, which again complements the combination of the black leather and the black Alcantara on the interior. And usually I tie the black stitch with a embroidered horse on the headrest as such. Um, and again, this is a very, very cool feature to do because um, when you're standing from the outside of the car, you can clearly identify the two Cavallinos on the headrest, which uh, again is, uh, is quite, a, it's quite a, a nice feature to have. If we take a look at the front section of the cabin. I will go ahead and start selecting my carbon fiber features for this FA Tributo. The first being the all important carbon fiber driver zone. Um, driver zone basically meaning the carbon fiber steering wheel, the paddles and the binnacle um, as displayed. In addition to the carbon fiber driver zone, I also selected the carbon fiber central bridge, the carbon fiber dashboard inserts, and the carbon fiber inner door handle. The reason why I've done this is to remove all of the silver accents that can be found within the uh, inside of the FA Tributo. So, this is sufficient enough to get rid of those, uh, those silver trims and make it unanimous and obviously tie in the carbon fiber uh, motif on the outside as well as the inside. As you can tell, I've uh, selected the yellow rev counter to match the uh, Ferrari badge um, on, the, uh, on the steering wheel. Um, and again, that is another reason why the yellow rev counter is, uh, is usually selected because you can color code um, those two features together. So in all, this is my preferred interior combination for the FA Tributo, sporty, but again, elegant, sophisticated, and um, more importantly, it ties in well with the, with the titanium gray that I uh, selected on the, uh, on the exterior of the car. So we can now shift our attention to the, uh, the equipment that is available on the FA Tributo. Um, starting off with the surround view, a new feature that Ferrari has uh, made available for its clients. Again, with the uh, carbon fiber wheels, it's, uh, it's quite, quite important that you, uh, you have a 360 view just to, to not uh, be in a position where you can curb them. Uh, in addition to the surround view, I have selected ADAS, which is a package um, that Ferrari offers with a number of driver aids, including uh, lane departure warning, uh, front radar with the cruise control, emergency braking, and so on, which uh, on a car of this power, I think it's, uh, it's uh, pretty important to have. The all important suspension lift with the adaptive front lights, which again, um, you know, if you do option the car at the beginning, at the front with the carbon fiber um, front lid, it's it's important to have the, the suspension lift to, to protect that piece. 
In terms of infotainment, um, three options that are available. I have selected the passenger display. Again, uh, a very nifty little feature that is now become available as an option on, on, on modern day Ferraris. And again, tying into that sporty motif that, um, that I've used uh, from the very beginning on this Ferrari F8 Tributo. In addition, I have gone with Apple CarPlay because again, uh, pretty important feature uh, if you uh, want to stay connected and obviously have the have the latest in, in, in infotainment with the car. In addition to the Apple CarPlay, I've also selected the premium hi-fi uh, sound system. Now that the car is complete, let's take it outside for the finishing touch, which will be the Italian Tricolore on the boot lid. Again, showcasing um, Ferrari as an Italian brand of excellence and obviously showcasing the, the heritage of Ferrari. Let's take this car out for a drive. This driving experience allows the client to see the finished car, not just on the standstill, but also in motion in this carefully crafted uh, video of the Italian countryside with your spec FA Tributo.